The weather watch and a live look outside at Lakeshore Drive. Calm, no stormy weather right here just yet. Calm before the storm, <laughs> right, Mary Kay? Right, you know, we have some thunderstorms out there now, but the bigger event is going to come overnight. So if you have a NOAA weather radio, make sure it's on tonight. We do have this cluster of shower and thunderstorm activity stepping through I-88 right along Aurora here. You can see a lot of lightning showing up there. I'll take it off so you can see the towns affected from Naperville to Woodridge, DuPage, and Romeoville. This will ride along the Stevenson along the Eisenhower and meet all of the commu commuters that are trying to head home. But we have noticed that this initial cluster has weakened a bit as it travels through the area. Timing though is terrible for rush hour. The more impressive storm activity, you can see it lining up here from Des Moines to Waterloo into Wisconsin. These yellow boxes indicate where we have severe thunderstorm watches up. A brand new one now does include the Quad Cities and into Rockford, but not Chicago. South of us, a heat advisory till 7. That does include you in Kansas. Kankakee County, but we will see a storm threat tonight, especially as we go through the overnight hours and those highest threats will be wind gusts, hail and also localized flooding. There's so much humidity around, so when these travel very slowly across the humid atmosphere, it's going to really dump a lot of rain. When? Well, at 9 o'clock, I think a squall line is going to be developing, really enhancing the highest storm threat by midnight. Through the night, it's loud with rain and thunder, and then everything kind of tapers off here for the tail end of the morning rush. 88 degrees right now. Our weather watchers have been finding that, wow, the clouds have been eerie in places. In fact, I wanted to give you some of their pictures here because Kennedy out in Manuka was noticing that the cumulus clouds started towering as we went through the afternoon. But Terry and Genoa, this low cloud that's beginning to bring in those heavy rain showers with that initial batch that moved in and then some Amatis clouds showing up for Bob Myers. Well, it's all ahead of a cold front. It's so humid, 90s ahead of this, 60s behind the front. It's 94 and St. Louis and 65 right now in Minneapolis. So showers and thunderstorms will be moving through, especially between 9 p.m. and sunset. That is going to be our highest threat for shower and thunderstorm activity. So here's we go this evening. Look at 9 p.m. That squall line developing for us and then it moves through overnight, but a second wave at 4 a.m. And then finally things quiet down by about 10 in the morning. So overnight, it's mainly an overnight event, leaving us with morning rain tomorrow. Look at Thursday, Friday. So nice. And I know, Rob and Erica, you probably have great plans for Labor Day. A 30% chance of a shower or thunderstorm through the weekend. Highs in the mid 80s. It won't wash out your day, but it'll be very summer-like. I was getting ready to ask that. No washout, <laughs> no. right? All right, everybody will be happy to hear that.